Hey friends, the word serverless has been around for some time and with the release of Laravel Vapor, serverless became part of the Laravel ecosystem. In this video, we are going to discuss serverless. But first, let's talk about servers. A server is a computer much like the one you are using to watch the video right now. You can run several programs on this computer that do different things. A Laravel application is also a program. A database engine is a program and Redis is also a program. And all these programs that you use to run a web application need a server that handles storing data and processing it in all the different ways. And to ensure your web application keeps running, you need to do some housekeeping on those servers. Like for example, installing and upgrading the different libraries, uh, ensuring there is enough memory and desk space, ensuring there is enough CPU power for all the programs running, and of course, packing things up where needed. These tasks are easy to perform for small scale applications. And Laravel Forge makes it much easier to handle these things when the application grows. But at a certain point, managing the infrastructure where the application is running becomes a lot of work. That's where serverless comes in. And even though I'm saying serverless, don't let the name trick you. When we say serverless, that doesn't mean there are no servers involved. It just means you don't have to worry about them yourselves. Now, let's take a look at one of the most popular serverless providers in the world. Amazon Web Services. They offer a service called Lambda, which basically takes your code and runs it for you on demand. They promise that you won't have to provision or manage any infrastructure and your application will automatically scale, which means you will be saving money because it can scale to zero when your application is not being used as much as it can scale to handle, handle hundreds of thousands of requests per minute when the traffic is high. So in a nutshell, serverless allows you to purchase computing power on a flexible pay-as-you-go basis. You just configure your serverless environment by defining the CPU and memory resources your application needs and AWS will ensure these requirements are met whenever your application needs to run. If the application is not running, AWS will not charge you anything. Under the hood, AWS starts small containers on their compute infrastructure for your serverless application. These containers are frozen by default. They only get activated whenever your application needs to run. You pay for the duration it takes for your code to run and for the number of containers or the number of times the containers receives a request to run. Now, let's see what a Laravel application needs to be able to run. First, we need Nginx so that we can forward web requests to our PHP application. And then we need a cron scheduler so we can run scheduled jobs. And finally, we need to run multiple workers to process our queue jobs. Handling web requests works very well with the serverless model, since there is a certain duration of time in which the code needs to execute to handle a request. A serverless container gets activated, handles the request, and then goes back to sleep. But to be able to forward those requests to the Lambda containers, we need Nginx. But we can't run Nginx in a serverless environment since Nginx is a long running process that needs to be always active so it handles requests as they come. And the solution to that is using an AWS API gateway. Let's see what that is. Amazon API Gateway is a managed reverse proxy that routes HTTP requests to different destinations which is basically what Nginx does in a typical server-filled setup. AWS Lambda is one of those destinations API Gateway can route requests to. And that's what we need in our serverless architecture. The good thing about API Gateway is that you are only charged for the number of requests it routed for you. There are no minimum fees or upfront payments to use it. This pricing model matches Lambda's pay-as-you-go model. 
All right, so now that we know how to replace Nginx in a serverless architecture, we have two more components to worry about, the uh, cron component and queue workers. Both these components require some sort of a long running process that runs code based on specific schedule or monitors a queue and runs code when any drops are available in that queue or several queues. Let's start with cron scheduler. And for that, AWS offers a service called Event Bridge. If we go to the Event Bridge website on Amazon.com and click on the Features tab, we can see that it offers a lot of features. If we scroll down a little bit, we can see that Event Bridge allows us to set up scheduled events using the familiar cron syntax and invoke any of the supported AWS services in response to those events. One of those services is AWS Lambda. And here's something interesting. Using Event Bridge scheduled events is completely free of charge. You don't pay anything. Want to verify that? Head over to the pricing tab and check where it says all state change events published by AWS services are free. This includes scheduled rules, state change events. With Event Bridge, we can create a scheduled rule that invokes AWS Lambda with the PHP Artisan Schedule Run command. And as you know, this command will run any scheduled commands defined inside your Laravel application. Now, the only missing part is how we are going to handle queue drops. In a typical serverful setup, you need a queue storage like Redis to store the drops and a few worker processes to monitor the storage and the queue drops for processing. As for the queue storage, AWS offers Amazon Simple Queue Service, or SQS, which is a fully managed queue storage driver that Laravel supports out of the box. Let's go to the website and see what SQS is all about. Let's first head to the pricing tab and we can see that you are only charged for what you use, no minimum charge, similar to how Lambda works. So basically you get charged for the number of requests you send to SQS. Those requests can be for dispatching purposes or dequeuing purposes. So now we know how a Laravel application can be configured to run under AWS Lambda. It might seem a bit overwhelming having to configure all these AWS services to work together. Laravel Vapor allows you to deploy as many Laravel applications as you want to AWS Lambda. It will handle provisioning and configuring all the different services for you. You just configure one YAML file in your project root directory and you're good to go. Go check vapor.laravel.com and test things out. Weber offers a sandbox plan that allows you to test your application on AWS Lambda completely free. Have fun.